All right, take everything you know about the way little campers are built and throw it all away. None of that applies to this stuff. This is a Camp Light by Living Light. They are um, a an extreme aluminum manufacturer, essentially. Um, this is not built like your grandpa's camper. This is built more like a uh, you know cosmonaut space shuttle or something like that. This one, uh, the 16 TBS here, comes in uh, around 34, 3,500 pounds roughly. Um, and again, there's no wood in this structure whatsoever. This is uh, essentially as close to failure proof as they can get. It's rot, mold, mildew proof essentially in the, in the structural standpoint of things. And here's why. Everywhere you look in this thing, you're going to see aluminum. And you're going to hear me say that word so much, you're going to get tired of hearing it. You're going to get tired of hearing the word aluminum. But I have to say it a lot because that's how this whole darn thing is built. It, you know, it, it's as close to failure proof as something can possibly get. This is under your bed. You know, this is a big aluminum shield deck under your bed. Um, and notice it's all welded and it's not just an aluminum perimeter, it's caged. You know, you have cross members longitudinally and latitudinally all working together to make this thing as rock solid as it can get, yet lightweight. Now if you look under here, you can actually see it has an aluminum underbelly shield. And this rides on an all aluminum frame. This does not ride on a normal steel frame. This thing is custom crafted from the top to the bottom to be one of the longest possible lasting uh, RVs that you can, you can even imagine out there. Um, it does not have a rubberized roof. It has an aluminum roof. So, I mean, even your rubber roof can't get sun damaged and chalk up and, and cause problems because there is no rubber up there. This is like the ultimate woodland camper because if sticks and stuff fall on the roof, who cares? They can't damage or puncture or tear anything. Um, it is narrow body, so it is very easy towing. And at 3,500 pounds with a slide out, that's the thing. I can get you 3,500 pound single axle campers, not usually with a slide out. That's a big thing here. Um, at, uh, at that kind of weight, a small SUV can handle this probably. You know, you need proper tow packaging, of course, but holy cow, look at this thing. Um, We've got, uh, we did dress it up a little bit. We put a power tongue jack on here, and these come with an awning topper. So, once again, if you're out in the woods, if you are dry or primitive camping or hunting, and uh, you, you have debris from trees that fall, which is really common, it can't get in the slide. You can't mash it in and out of the slide out and cause problems. Even the windows are different. The windows are a European style window. Um, they actually tilt open in a jealousy fashion. You get awesome airflow with these. Also, they have their own internal shade. The shade actually slides up from the bottom. Nice to these uh, also are baggage doors. Don't know if you noticed on the other side, they are magnetic so that uh, you don't have to deal with um, you know holding the baggage door open or anything like that. Again, little convenience features as long as we're on that topic, like little sewer hose holder. So you don't have to you know try to put your um, sewer uh, storage in with your like camping chairs storage and stuff like that. Um, the, uh, what was I going to, oh, the, the skin is aluminum. This is not a fiberglass skin. Listen, this is an aluminum skin. It is, uh, vacuum bonded over a sheet of Asdel instead of Luon. Uh, so once again, not even uh, a sheet, not even a single layer sheet of plywood Luon in the walls of this thing. Um, the, uh, there's, there is no wood content whatsoever in the structure of this thing. Um, in fact, the only wood content whatsoever in the entire coach is only the face of the cabinetry so that when you're inside, you don't feel like you're, you know, um, you're, you're not sleeping in a tackle box. It does still look a little bit warm and, and camper like inside, but is, it is only that it's only a wooden facade on top of an aluminum structured cabinet system. It's awesome. God forbid guys you do experience some kind of leak or water failure. Or let's say hypothetically, oops, we left the door open and it rained last night. Who cares? It doesn't matter. Take a towel, wipe it up, it's dry, you're done. There's, there's no big catastrophic repair system that has to now take place. Um, all lights inside and out are LED. A lot of brands have LED interior lights. These are even LED exterior. Um, even your marker lights, they look normal, but they are LED elements inside, and these are LEDs on your aluminum bumper back here. Um, even their license plate bracket is sharp and has better lighting on this. Um, the uh, door here has its own little strut to keep that held open for you, and I love how this thing sits a little bit higher because, again, if you do want to take this off the beaten path, you have ground clearance now. Um, let's step inside for you. Now the floor, let's talk about that. We saw the underside of it. I don't know if this is going to show up. There, you can see kind of like some, some horizontal lines essentially on the floor. 
the this floor is so ridiculously overbuilt it's not funny if you peel up this layer of um effective we call it linoleum it's not really linoleum anymore it's it's a better material made for rvs but if you peel this up you're going to see interlocking tongue and groove extruded aluminum plank flooring long story short we've probably you're probably familiar with like those little um click uh click together plank wood floor things you can like put in your kitchen this is sort of like that but it's made of aluminum now on top of that they have these sort of like miniature i-beams that stick up this is the exact same floor guys they use in cattle trailers that can hold tens of of thousands of pounds of cattle. Now imagine a big heavy cow, except its foot is only the size of a teacup, putting all that pressure on one point. That's what this floor is made for. It's so ridiculously overbuilt because they want this thing to hold its structural integrity over time. And if you can eliminate flex from the ground up, then you eliminate your problems. That's the whole idea behind this. Built from the ground up, inside and out, for longevity, reliability. And again, even our roof is vacuum laminated. The walls are vacuum laminated. This stuff is made to last as long as possible. Again, we have all LED lighting, and I love that it's just all on one switch. It's easy. Although it's really bright in here with the nice wall panels, the light wall panels, it's really bright. So if you're dry camping, you don't have to eat up your battery. This is perfect for park camping too, though, guys. This is an awesome little couple's camper or even a couple guys, and we'll get there in a second, or, or ladies, pardon me. I don't want to be a, a jerk about this, but... Um, also, we have bigger vent fans in here to get you some superior airflow because, again, if you're dry camping and you don't have access to power to run that generator, or the, uh, well, either the generator or the air conditioner, uh, you, you want this to run your, um, to get airflow. Now, here we have our slide out, and again, you can see the wood paneling to give you that, the, the sense that you're in a camper, but behind everything is this aluminum skeleton and structure. And, and watch this, this, like, walk up to a normal camper dinette and pull on the side of it like that and the whole thing wobbles it doesn't do that here even to the point if i lift this up we're not sitting on a sheet of wood we're sitting on this giant half inch sheet of um molded uh plastic basically so even this cannot rot mold mildew i mean it, they're storage easily accessed on both sides of the dinette that's not an issue this is the lightest tabletop i've ever seen i've never seen one that light um you know the uh you can see <laughs> aluminum wheel wells like you would expect um your doors where they uh these these uh again the the fa the face of the cabinetry is wood but if you look inside it is all aluminum structure so that hypothetically i don't know Let's say you bash this door and you need to replace it. Not a problem. It's cheap and easy to replace an easy wooden door, but the aluminum structure is always going to be there for you. And this is a seamless door. It can't fall apart. So even where they're using non-aluminum material, they're using good stuff, guys. Um, let's, uh, I, well, speaking of storage, let's look at this real quick. Um, the uh, entire halo above the bed here is pure storage. And in a little camper, every ounce counts, and more storage is always better. Um... The uh, one thing I'll say, because this has so much aluminum content, the one thing you have to remember is that um, it, 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 they have to leave some excess material. It's super cold right now. I'm sure you notice the snow outside. Like a beer can, this thing is going to try to condense a little bit in the cold weather. That means that some of your trim is going to, like right here, it's not major is what I'm saying, but you're going to see a little gap here and there. In the summertime, that all evens out. They have to build this with a little bit of playroom and slack because it gets hot and cold in here. Um, you know, not necessarily like your house. So looking at our front bed, you see that we have a pair of single beds, which is cool for a lot of couples. There's a lot of older couples who their days of, of you know, sleeping in necessarily the same bed are kind of over. That's just, that, that's a period of their lives that's passed. Or you got a couple hunting buddies who want their own separate space. This camper rocks for that kind of use right there. But check this out. Let's say that's not your life. Let's say that's not your situation. This little bench right here floats. That goes in place. You have this little middle cushion and you can push that down and pop it in place with your hands and you can still have a full front, a virtually king bed. And this is black label bedding. It's pretty sharp stuff. We have this in our some of our other brands. Never have a problem with it. But you can easily convert this uh, from uh, two single beds to, uh, you know, like a, um, almost like a front lounge in that respect, because you can easily use this like a lounge. And there's power outlets right here for your CPAP machines and whatnot, which is a big deal. But 
we got to have good entertainment too. This has, whoops, this has a, a built-in AM FM CD DVD player with Bluetooth options so you can hook your phone up to it. If you got music or you like to play Pandora off your phone, not a problem. This Bluetooth's to your stereo and you can have, it's got like a 30 yard range. It's ridiculous. It's awesome. Um, and we have a Jensen LED television here. LED uses less power and everyone has their own opinion, but I, I think they look better because the blacks are blacker on an LED as compared to LCD. Um, the uh, TV is obviously on a swing arm, so you can make it face your dinette over here, or um, you can obviously make it swing around to face your bedroom, and you can tilt it for optimal viewing angles so you don't get neck cramps. I love the big windows in this. They get lots of light, and again, you can get good airflow. Now, you see we don't have an oven. They wanted to give you maximum storage space, and they did accomplish that very well. This is a truckload of storage for such a little camper. It's huge. So what they did is they made this convection. So this is a convection microwave. How cool is that in this little thing? It is. It looks like a tiny little woodland classic, but it is so space age. That's what's so cool about it. It's it's a transformer. It's more than meets the eye. <laughs> um, again, solid surface countertops because they're not wood, so that it can't rot, mold, or mildew. We have stainless sink here uh, so that it's not plastic and the cold's not going to crack it or anything. Um, this uh, this little cooktop here is slick. It's all you need for a little couple camping excursion, but it also folds down to give you maximum countertop space still. Uh, flipping around here, let me close a couple of these things. We've got our uh, five cubic foot gas electric fridge over here in the corner. Um, this has a giant storage compartment above it. I'm sure someone's going to ask, can you put the bigger six cubic foot fridge in here? And you could. You're going to kill that storage. And in a little camper like this, we just, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to let you store as much as we could. But what's cool is this still has a little freezer pocket built right in it. It still has everything you need. Um, well, let me back up here and give you a, kind of a, a view from this direction. So from the entry door around, the dinette slide makes all the difference here. It's what's given us all this nice open space. And we've even got a pretty sharp bathroom. I expected in a narrow body coach, a dry bath. A dry bath is where the toilet is in the shower. And you don't have that. You have a legitimate bathroom. You have an actual skylight above the shower and a bigger fan in here as well. It hits it, it hits all the marks, guys. This thing fires on all cylinders. It is fantastic. It's built to last a long time. Um, you know, you're gonna look at another 16-foot camper compared to this, goes, holy crap, this is more expensive. It absolutely is. It's also designed to be the last camper you ever even have to think about owning. Give us a call, 800 256 5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping everybody.